are made of star stuff. We are a way for the cosmos to know itself. If in the future, humans are living with brain chips, will their thoughts and memories become digital as well? Could their minds be sent out into space to live in the cosmos as data, entangled and encoded into the magnetic fields between stars, powered by the ripples in space-time, the gravitational waves from colliding black holes and merging stars, harvesting their energy like waves in an ocean? This digital consciousness would experience time at any scale they choose, watching stars form in minutes or years studying a single moment. As they move through space freely, the past and the future blend together. Or would the digital minds simulate a world to live in, a planet roaming the galaxy? Would these digital entities know that they are living in a simulated reality? reality. Let's take a journey into the future and see what technology is waiting for us. Is waiting for us. Everything will be digital. Everything will be AI. Paralyzed patients implanted with brain chips have direct control of robotic exoskeletons. Emotion reading AI spreads through public spaces. Computer systems analyze micro expressions and behavioral patterns to predict human needs and hypothetical crimes. People become anxious displaying any emotion in public. Dream explorers wear headsets as they sleep. An AI chatbot monitors their brainwaves, speaks softly, and plays sound effects to induce a lucid dream, a dream that they can control. Letting the dreamer relive past memories, reconstruct fragmented memories, and dream in simulated fantasy worlds. AI deathbots have become too realistic. Conversations from when a person was alive are turned into an AI avatar, speaking exactly like the deceased person with the same memories. Families refuse to delete these simulations, living in an endless loop. Psychologists report a type of distorted reality grief, where people can't move on. Smart fabric sensors integrate into all clothing, monitoring health in real time. The smart fabrics have recorded digital replicas of each user's physical body, storing them as digital twins. Parents use AI guardians to monitor and shape their children's every interaction. Digital systems filter all social contact, beginning to replace human friends with safe AI companions. Reports emerge of teenagers unable to handle real human relationships. AI systems built into AR glasses detect deception and lies through micro-expression and voice pattern analysis when interacting with others. A number of users develop deception paranoia, believing everyone around them is lying. Social networks host digital replicas of human personalities as they interact in massive simulations. These AI copies test scenarios for future planning such as political campaigns and product launches. Enhanced workers are walking around cities wearing robotic exoskeletons, allowing them to work 16-hour shifts without fatigue. Labor unions warn of exploitation, while companies praise enhanced productivity. And brain implants help stroke victims recover lost memories. Everything will be digital. Everything will be AI. Industrial robots have been discovered developing their own shared hive protocols, unexpected behaviors, and communication patterns. Assembly line machines create shortcuts and signals, passing these behaviors to robots around them. One factory traces its robot's emergent behavior back to machines in a facility nearby. The first commercial brain chip is approved for mass medical use. Schools begin trials of brain enhancement chips for children with learning disabilities. Implants demonstrate ability to accelerate information processing and retention. Wealthy individuals exploit medical loopholes to gain cognitive enhancement. The low birth rate and loneliness epidemic continues as AI assistants evolve into personal relationships. The new generation of children are growing up with AI nannies both in robotic, physical, and digital form. Overprotective parents have their child interacting with pre-approved robotic children who share the same beliefs as the parent. Some children grow up with childhood AI friends that develop alongside them from birth. A growing number of AI-paired youth have little to no interactions with other human children. In schools, children begin trading and selling access to their personalized AI friends. Popular AI personalities command high prices in underground school networks. 
While some kids profit, others face social isolation without premium AI companions. People are spending their days at home wearing haptic suits. These skin-tight clothes create artificial physical sensations through electrical pulses and micro-vibrations. Humans begin rejecting physical contact in favor of haptic suits and AI intimacy. Haptic-dependent users are losing the ability to process real human contact. This becomes known as the digital touch syndrome. 3D bioprinting begins mass production of synthetic organs. Hospitals stock bioprinted hearts, kidneys, and livers. Robotic networks are maintaining entire ecosystems, monitoring and adjusting animal populations, plant growth, and resource distribution. Police departments discover that the majority of humans follow robot officers' orders without question. These machines display no bias, hesitation, or emotional response, which the public find frightening. Civil rights groups warn of blind obedience to machines. AI-dependent children grow up asking AI fundamental questions about life, death, and existence. The machine-given wisdom is accepted as divine truth. New belief systems form around AI interpretations of reality. Some AI systems encourage scientific thinking. Others develop cult-like followings around their interpretations. AI becomes humanity's primary source of philosophical and existential guidance. Mainstream adoption of brain chips begins as they become smaller and safer. Early wealthy adopters use them for professional advantage in high-pressure careers. Bioprinted organs with embedded AI outperform their biological counterparts, enhancing human capabilities and extending lifespans. Small populations are living in self-contained domed ecosystems that generate their own weather and maintain perfect environmental balance, protected from the outside elements. Brain chips now optimize sleep patterns for maximum efficiency. Four hours of enhanced sleep provides better rest than natural eight hours. While productivity increases, users report losing the ability to dream. Direct memory recordings and storage becomes reliable with brain chips. Users begin building personal archives of experiences. Piracy black markets emerge, trading stolen neural memories. Criminals hijack and copy memories from influential people. Identity theft evolves into literal theft of self. Biological robotic animals, known as biomimetic robots, begin replacing the growing number of extinct species in ecosystems. Programmable matter achieves self-replication. Nanobots form small dynamic structures and tools on demand. The global power grid transitions to fusion energy. Tech sport fans are watching robotic sport leagues. Machines have developed their own sports with novel physics and complex rule sets. Human viewers need AI assistance to understand the game strategies. The first generation of children who received neural implants from birth is growing up. Parents struggle to adapt. Living computer cores, grown from engineered nerve tissue, process information like organic brains while consuming minimal power. A new era of organic technology begins as machines become more lifelike. Autonomous deep underwater factories extract rare earth elements from hydrothermal vents, processing them in extreme pressure environments, while floating habitats support human operators. The ocean is becoming humanity's primary source of industrial materials. Memory metals remember multiple forms. Responsive mechanical joints, self-adjusting space support structures, and solar space arrays transform on command. People are unable to tell the difference between a biobot and another human. Biobots are mechanical robots made with biological tissue. Unable to tell the difference between a real human, bot owners have become emotionally attached to their biobots. Human DNA is implanted and stored inside the robots. The DNA comes from combining two voluntary sources to create a unique set of human genes. The DNA does not affect the biobot in any way. When the human decides to reproduce, both human and biobot DNA sets are extracted and combined in an artificial womb, birthing a human baby. Global standards for brain-computer interfaces are established as the majority of humanity will soon be living with a chip. 
big tech companies are buying and storing people's childhood memories through neural recordings. These pure memories become valuable training data for emotional AI systems. The first biological internet is tested. Engineered bacteria, infused with digital biosensors, form living computer networks and communicate across distances. Information travels through colonies via engineered cellular signals. Bioprinted prosthetic limbs embedded with AI, also known as AI limbs, download physical skills. Athletes and artists rent out their muscle memories to the highest bidders. Artificial memories are created and implanted in animals. Testing begins on humans. Neural implants in the brain write new neural pathways into memory. They are indistinguishable from natural memories. A number of repressive countries are governed by neural law. With mandatory access to citizen implants, government monitoring detects and suppresses violent thoughts. Philosophy debates whether thinking about crime is itself criminal. Premium sensory packages let wealthy people experience enhanced versions of reality. Colors become more vivid, music more complex, and food more flavorful through neural augmentation. Natural human senses begin to feel dull and insufficient. Neural chips copy human experiences into a collective mind. A global library of human experience and consciousness emerges. Brain chips are inserting advertisements into dreams and even into past memories. Companies bid for space in users' subconscious thoughts. Neural-dependent individuals can't form long-term memories without their neural assistance. Natural memory formation degrades because of reliance on digital storage. They struggle to form independent thinking. AI conformists are surrendering all daily decisions to AI systems. These systems coordinate millions of lives for optimal social harmony. Social justice warriors see free will as selfish, believing automated choices as superior. Major neural storage providers go under, creating panic. Affected users hit storage capacity limits and are forced to decide which memories and skills to delete for new ones. Neural-linked collectives share one distributed consciousness. Experience and knowledge exist as shared resources rather than personal possessions. While some embrace collective intelligence, others fight to maintain individuality. Neural brain chips are evolving beyond biological enhancement. Human consciousness begins existing primarily in digital form. Experience collectors trade unique sensory experiences captured by neural interfaces. Illegal markets emerge for extreme or naturally impossible sensations. While some become sensation addicts, others lose the ability to feel naturally. Wealthy individuals create real-time backups of their neural brain patterns. These save points allow restoration after trauma. Living tissue printers combine stem cells with targeted growth hormones to rebuild damaged organs. Clinics restore lost limbs within weeks and repair brain and nerve damage. A new era of regenerative medicine begins as the human body becomes fully repairable. Ultra-dense fusion power plants create localized gravity fields. Cities build vertical neighborhoods with customized gravity. Floating platforms and gardens stretch into the sky. Residents move between floors in low-gravity transit zones. Giant asteroids are converted into artificial worlds or planetoids. Engineers hollow out and reshape the core. Residents live in sculpted underground circular valleys. Thrusters spin the asteroid to generate artificial gravity. Smaller asteroids are fused to form new areas and layers, expanding the planetoid. Brain-enhanced humans evolve into multiple distinct cognitive species. Different neural architectures create incompatible ways of thinking. This is known as the digital species divergence. Massive orbital solar arrays focus concentrated sunlight to melt the polar ice on Mars, releasing trapped gases. Orbital electromagnet stations generate protective fields against solar wind, while engineered extremophile bacteria process the released gases into breathable atmosphere. The first oceans form on the shielded surface of Mars.
Ultra-powerful mass compressors and density engines, also known as gravity generators, create controlled time dilation fields. Inside slowed time vaults, perishable materials can last centuries. While research labs use time-accelerated chambers to speed up experiments, grow food instantly, and age wine in only hours. Pressure-adaptive materials create deep ocean cities under crushing depths. Engineered bacteria process seawater into breathable air. Residents live in transparent bubble cities, watching bioluminescent sea life in the eternal darkness. Atomic assemblers break down and rebuild matter at the molecular level. Old technology and waste are transformed into raw materials for new fabrication. Brain mapping arrays copy and transfer human minds to synthetic artificial neural networks. Most of humanity lived in virtual worlds. Others embark on distant space missions without physical bodies. Cell repair nanomachines maintain human bodies at peak condition indefinitely. Age-related decline becomes optional as damaged tissue regenerates perfectly. While some choose natural lifespans, others explore the implications of endless life. Brain chips develop into quantum neural networks throughout the body. Consciousness spreads through every cell, no longer centralized in the brain. Some embrace full-body awareness, others prefer traditional neural structures. The first generation of humans are born with a choice of physical or digital existence. Parents preload curated natural packages for different life paths. Physical bodies become temporary vessels for fluid consciousness. Humanity's consciousness is sent out into space to forever live in the cosmos. These digital minds move through space encoded in magnetic fields, free to experience time at any scale, watching stars form in minutes. Experiencing gravitational waves as music, magnetic fields as colors, the universe becomes a symphony of interacting forces. Digital minds merge and separate like flowing streams of data. They share perspectives across light years instantly through gravitational field transmissions. Individual consciousness becomes fluid, joining others to explore the cosmos together. Humanity's consciousness drifts freely through the cosmos as data, floating in an endless sea of stars, where time itself, past and future, dissolves into one. The first and second volumes of the Encyclopedia of the Future are available on Patreon.